Welcome to Pods of Code. In this video, we will continue our Firebase tutorial. We're going to learn how to get data, read data in different ways. We're also going to learn how to update data that's in Firestore, and we're going to learn how to delete data. Again, this is a piggyback off of the first video on how to create data and a Firestore database. First thing we'll need is the Fire, Firebase admin. It's going to be a pip Firebase admin. We will be introducing a different library, but we do not need to install any new modules. And we'll get into that. Again, we have our credentials. We have our JSON private key. We have our initialize at Firebase admin and creating our Firestore client variable with DB. We've done this before in the create and initializing everything for Firestore in the previous video. Now let's get into actually reading data. So here's my Firestore database on firebase.com and our Firestore collection is actually called tasks collection. That's the collection right now. We have three documents. This is a task app. We can call it the three documents is to task wash the dishes. This is to do. We also have a task make the food. This is in progress and we have a task of take out trash and this one is done. We're going to be using these three fields or documents rather in order to demonstrate how to get these documents in Firebase. So the first thing is getting all the documents. Let's run this. So after running this line, get all docs, we're going into this function and here we can see we have document IDs and we actually have the document data. Document IDs are going to be the actual unique identifier for your document. In this case, we'll see the 015 right here. We see the F1F right here and the WW right here. So in this, in this function, we're doing a docs equals DB collection, which is our Firestore client dot collection. In there, we're going to pass our collection name. In this case, we've passed the name tasks collection, and this would be the name of your actual collection. Again, that collection name is going to be right here and you can name this anything you want. This is your collection. And then we're going to end it with a dot stream. That's it. This now will have all of our documents in that Firestore database. At this point, it's just a matter of how we want to show it. In this object, the main properties or functions that you need to know is this one. To dict, this is actually converting it to a string for us. And just for reference, I'm going to show kind of some of the documentation. This object is actually considered a snapshot and we will talk more about this in a little bit the to dict is going to give us pretty much exactly what the firestore has saved for that document the to dict you can use in order to get everything in this case we have a couple different parameters or fields uh, you can also use the get to get very specific fields for example if we wanted just this portion of the firestore document we could do get top one Let's just say we wanted this specific value, bottom three, inside top one, which is inside middle two, or bottom three, which is inside middle two, which is inside top one. We could do snapshot get top one dot middle two dot bottom three. That would get us this specific value 20. I will link this documentation in the comments. In this case, we're getting all the data. So we do a doc dot data. Again, this is gonna give us all of the data that's in Firestore for that document. And as a result, we actually get the entire JSON string. If you're interested in getting the ID, you can do a doc.id because you'll notice that the actual document data does not have the ID of the document. So doing doc.id will get us the actual specific ID of that document. Now, again, the rest of this is just kind of to display and we iterate here in another for statement just to print out some of the data that we're getting from Firestore. But the main thing to take away from getting all documents is db collection, collection name dot stream. This docs is going to have your documents. Put it in a loop, and for each document in this array, you can do a doc dot to dictionary, but also this document object will have your ID and your data. Now, pretty rarely are we going to be getting all the documents. So let's take a look at this next function, which is get a specific document. This document we're going after is the document for make the food. So let's take a look at that one really quick. That's going to be this document here. So we have four, field, four fields here. And the main one is the task make the food. 
This document has the ID of F1F, according to this code, and according to Firebase, here we are, F1F. You can take this ID, and you can copy it, and you can put whatever ID that you're interested in getting, but along with getting all the documents, if you noticed in the previous function, we have the IDs of documents. So all this get document is going to do is going to take a collection name, and it's going to take the document ID. Now how to actually get the document is again db.collection. We'll be seeing this a lot for getting, getting data. Uh, db.collection, collection name, dot document. And then you pass in your document ID. This is going to give you a document reference. That's the type of object this is called. And that's going to be a dot get. Once we do a dot get, I should say, off of that document reference, we'll get a document snapshot. And again, that document snapshot we might be already familiar with because that document dot to dictionary will give us the exact JSON string that we need, which is our entire data inside this document. So again, as a review, get document, a specific document, db collection, collection name, dot document, document ID. We do a dot get off of that return, and off of that return, we'll do a dot to dictionary. In this case, we're just printing the return, but this, this is how you would get a single document. Now let's get a document with a where clause. Uh, usually this is starting to become more accurate how we get information from the database. We're not interested in all the documents. We're not interested in a single document. We're interested in a range of documents with a filter. What we want to do here is make sure to do from google.cloud.firestore underscore v1 dot base query import field filter. We'll get to the or in a little bit, but right now we're interested in just the field filter. With that, we're going to take a look at this function, get documents with status. We're going to be passing a collection name and a status value. In this case, we're passing a collection of task collection and the status value is to do. The goal here is to try to find all of the documents that have the status of to do. In this case, the only one is wash the dishes. That's the status of to do. The other one is in progress and the other one is done. Here again, we see db collection dot collection name. This is going to give us our document reference. And here is the pretty much the main difference here. Document reference dot where. And as the parameter filter equals we're our new field filter with the parameters of three things. We're going to pass in the field name. We're going to pass in the operator and we're going to pass in the value that we're looking for. In this case, we're looking for a status field that is equal to our status value, which our status value is to do. So our status is equal to to do. That's going to be our document reference where. Once we get this query, we're going to do a query dot stream. Uh, you might be familiar with the query dot stream because we do a dot stream here. Pretty much dot stream is the recommended way to get documents in Firebase. So once we do this dot stream, it's pretty much just using the same document dot to dictionary function that we've used before. Let's go ahead and run this again. Now we have a status to do, which is just one document to wash the dishes. Let's update this status to take out the trash. We have it as done. Let's put it as to do. Run this code again. And we'll now see that we have two documents because both of these have a status of to do. Now we'll notice that if we change the to do to lowercase, we will only get one return. So that's very important to note that when we're using these filters or where's that it's case sensitive. So make sure to know exactly what type of options you're giving the user or what you have saved in the database. So now let's talk about how we also want to get documents with an and filter uh, because it might be worth noting that it used to be a little easier to perform a where uh, we did not have this field filter. But with the inclusion of this new field filter, the document where it used to be like this and then you can just do the same query stream. This used to be the where. Now we're using field filter. What does that mean? 
Here's a function where we use field filter in order to have an and statement. Uh, let's first run this to see what exactly it's doing, and then we will, un we will better understand and then explain the code. So when running this get different status, we are trying to get all the tasks with the status of to do and all the tasks with the status of done. In this case, in my Firestore database, we have a to do, wash the dishes, we have a in progress, make the food, and we have a done, take out the trash. So I'm just trying to get these two documents, the done and to do. In this function, we're doing again the document reference equals a DB collection with the collection name we pass in. Here is the newer part. We're making two field filter variables. One is going to be a status equals value one, which is going to be to do. And the second is going to be the status two parameter, which is going to be done. These two are going to be a two different variables, filter to do, filter done. And then we're going to create an, a union filter. In this case, the variable is named or underscore filter. It equals our new keyword or. Here we have it as being imported, o, uppercase O, lowercase r. And the parameters are just filter equals, and then our array here, filter to do, comma, filter done. This union filter is actually what we pass to our document ref dot where. The parameter is going to be filter equals our or filter, and then we do a dot stream. At this point, we get our documents in the array. Uh, it's just a matter of going and iterating through the documents, which is what we're doing here for the document data. And that is how we perform an and. We're getting here two different statuses, two different statuses, the to do and and from Firestore. It's worth noting that Firestore has had makes it a little bit more complicated when you try to do where's when you try to do ands it's a little more difficult in firestore than maybe a simple relational database but whenever we do it we need to also keep in mind the columns that we're doing it on that it is the same column and that's more of the documentation from firestore i'll link it in the comments or description so we have a different get different status. Now let's talk about the updates. Some JavaScript is sneaking in. Update existing document. In this case, our document is F1F right here. Is that a one or a L? It might be an L. I think it's an L. So this one is going to be make the food. Status is in progress. Let's take a look at this function. Update existing documents. So now, uh, DB collection, task collection, usually we pass the collection name in the parameters, but it's DB collection dot collection equals or parameter tasks collection. This is our collection reference. Now our collection reference dot document, document ID, uh, you might be familiar with this. This is similar to how we get a single document uh, dot document dot or with the parameters of document ID. We have this reference now, and the big takeaway is this. Updating the document is using that document reference dot update. You have a field you want to update. It can be anything. It can even be a new field. If we add a new field, then it will just add a new one to the document, and we have a value. That's all we need to do here. Let's actually run this with this to the side, the Firestore to the side. We'll see it here, even newer value. Let's do this some old value. Let's run this. And we'll take a look at Firestore. And we see how it changed to some old value. Uh, what if we want to do a new field? So we're doing some new field data. Oh, it, we can't use spaces, no spaces. New field data. And here we have a new field. It just added a new field with some new. That's the value here. So this is how you can update a specific document. Now let's talk about deleting the document. This is going to be the final piece to having all functions of a database to create, read, update, and delete. So delete document, let's take a look at that function, db.collection, 
we pass in the document ID. We've seen this before. Again, uh, collection, document, and it's going to be dot delete. That's going to be the keyword. Let's now run this. This is against the same make the food uh, task. And as we run it, we'll keep a look at Firestore in the background, and we will see that task disappear. We've kind of seen it just, boom, document does not exist. Finally, it deleted from here. So this is how we delete documents in Firestore. Well, now we have the ability to create, read, update, and delete data. I really hope this helps you out. If you have any questions on anything or anything's not working for you, please Put it in the comments section. I will reply. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you at the next video.